Welcome to Stars Arena. We've got a double header for you lined up. The ASU Mid South Wolves are in town, and they'll be playing the South Dark Stars for a double header tonight. You do not want to miss out on this action. And guess what? You still have plenty of time to get here and hang out with me. Guess what? I got a seat for you right here, right now. Why wouldn't you come hang? Ah, ah, ah. Benji Broadcasting, executive producer, Benji Brown, along with Justin Guerin. Zion Ganter producing on site. Carter the Power Bryant here with you. And let me tell you this. The Lady Stars, I'm all about honesty. It's been a struggle this season. They're still looking for that first home victory, and it could come here in about five minutes. The first thing that stands out to me tonight about the opponent, the ASU Mid-South, I believe they're the Wolves. They are thin, right? This is not a deep roster. On their entire roster... It looks about nine players, maybe. And right now, it looks as if they only have six dressed out. So the South Dark Stars, they're a deeper team. Will they be able to use their deep bench to get involved early and out into transition? That's what I would do. But we'll see what Nate Evans decides to do today. Four minutes until tip-off. We'll get things going here in just a moment. It's South Dark Stars basketball on YouTube, baby. Let's Go!
National Anthem is done, and in just a moment, we'll have starting lineups. Getting things underway shortly, both teams down seasons for the South Dark Stars and the ASU Mid-South Greyhounds. I called them the Wolves a little bit earlier. That's the Arkansas State team, but these are the ASU. This is the ASU South Mid-South Greyhounds. Back in a moment. All righty, so for the Stars tonight.
Shots up, it's no good. Threes up, it's no good. Rebound here for the Stars, and it's Logan Smith with it. Apologies. Uh, the sound went out. We were able to get it to work. Milton is up. It's no good. Rebound to ASU Mid-South. And there is a timeout here for the Greyhounds. Stars up early, 8-2. to two. Glad to have audio for you now. Huh? 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 I was going crazy. I was going absolutely crazy. The Lady Stars playing their best ball of the season. This is a golden opportunity in front of a packed Stars crowd. And they're starting to play Mo Bamba. You know it's lit. Let's go. And we are back. Stars ball, excuse me, ASU ball. Six minutes left to go. The Greyhounds get an open three. No good. Resser with the rebound. And that'll be a bump foul on Trinity Kushmal. And now we'll get to see Kylie Portillas coming off the bench. For the first time this season. And she'll come in for Trinity Kushmal. Kylie Portillas, the best returning star. Averaged 19 and 11 last season. Oh, good move in the post. That is number 34, London Robinson. And it's eight to six. Almost stolen here. J.C. Bishop has it. Let's see if the Stars can keep things pushing here. Buffered. Good pass to Milton. No good. Rebound Kylie Portillas, and that's good. Air ball. Good rebound. By Bufford. She pushes it up to Logan Smith. She gets it down to Kylie, and she can't get it. And it'll go to the Greyhounds. Stars up early, 10 to 4. Once again, Stars without Zoe Nation. Their third leading scorer on the team. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. ASU Mid-South takes a 15-footer. It's no good. J.C. Bishop gets a rebound along with Tazea Bufford behind the back dribble, and she gets it across the timeline here. Bufford takes it all the way in. No good. Rebound ASU Mid-South. 4.29 left to go. Six-point lead for the Stars. That should be traveling, and it is a traveling violation. Turnover to the Stars. And we get our first substitution of the game. It's number 20 coming into the game. Kiana Parker. Kiana Parker. Logan can take it. It's up. And it's good! Nothing but net for Logan Smith. The pride of Falk, Arkansas. Stars up by nine. Floater is no good, and ASU Mid-South goes out of bounds. It'll remain with the Stars. Coming into the game now, Emma Kate McBride for J.C. Bishop. 3.52 left to go, nine-point lead for the Stars. The defense has been suffocating. They're dominating the boards. This is what you have been looking for all season long. Logan Smith to Bufford to imitate McBride for three. And it's good! Number three, four three. The Stars 
are in orbit. The South Dark Stars, biggest lead of the season, 16 to four. Open jumper is good. Rester for two. No look pass to Alina Milton and it's good. To Zaya Bufford. The sweet assist to Milton. Three is up and it's good. Rutledge for the Greyhounds. Logan Smith. Almost gets it stolen. It will remain with the Stars. 20 on the shot clock into the game for Alina Milton. It's number 12, Lexi Robinson. Lexi from West Monroe, Louisiana. Kylie gets it to imitate, and she'll get called for traveling. It's a good call. 2.43 left to go in this first quarter. Once again, women's college basketball. Four 10-minute quarters, two 20-minute halves in men's basketball. 2.41 left to go in this first quarter. Stars up by nine. High pick coming. Rutledge takes it to the left side, and she'll get an and one here. Oh, no. They're not going to give them the and one. They will call the foul on the floor. Stars get away with one there. I thought that was a good continuation, but they didn't give it to them. Let's see if the Stars can keep up the intensity. These are two teams that have struggled mightily this season. Stars have been better early. Stars are also deeper. Rutledge has it. Oh, and I don't know where the foul was there. Kylie Portillas will get called for it. It looks like Rutledge was out of control, but they'll give it, and she'll shoot two with 2.17 left to go. Rutledge has kind of taken over this game. Ianna Rutledge this season averaging 14 points, but shooting this season 72% from the field. That is really good for a guard. Kylie Portillas gets the rebound. Players are falling left and right. Logan has it. She could take a three if she wants it, and it's long. And Emma Kate McBride will call get called for the foul here. 2.06 left to go. Stars had a huge lead. Now it's down to eight. We say hi to Cookie. We say hi to everyone watching in Stars Nation. And, oh, it looks like they're going to give a one and one on this end. And with 2.06 left to go, ASU will have a chance to cut into this lead for the Stars. First free throw is good. That's Esther Quagala. That one doesn't go. And Lexi gets the rebound. Buffert now in transition. No look pass to Kylie Portillas. It's up and it's good. That is two no look assists. From Buffert. Oh, what a lay in. Esther for two. 133 left to go in this first quarter. Buffard, the floater is up. It's no good. And ASU Mid-South has done a good job cutting into this lead. 122 left to go. Esther has it. Gets it back to the Eldorado native, Rester. Crossover dribble with the Rester. Stars defense holding steady with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Esther takes the fadeaway. It's no good. One minute left, one minute in this first quarter. Stars up by seven. Emma Kate McBride will have an open three. It's up. And it's good. Emma Kate McBride, two for two from distance. Actually, she missed one earlier, so two for three from distance. By far her best shooting game 
at home this season. Deep three is up, no good. Lexi gets the rebound, gets it to the butterfly. Stars can get a two for one, but they more than likely will just hold for a final shot here. Logan has it, cross-court pass to Imicate. She gets it to Kylie. Kylie gets it to a wide open butterfly. Rebound to ASU Mid-South. They have a chance to hold for last shot, 17 seconds left. They will not hold for last shot. They'll get it up quickly, and they miss. Kylie has a chance, eight seconds left to go. She takes it all the way in, and she can't get it to go. And with 1.7 1 seconds left to go in this quarter, ASU will have one more possession. And they'll get one off, and it's no good. Your score after the first quarter, Stars 23, Greyhounds 13. Back in a moment, Stars well on their way to their first home victory of the year. Stick with us, it's Stars basketball. Shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka. Oh, I'm back live. Huh? 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 I was just back here dancing. Thank goodness there's not a camera on me. You do not want to see these moves. Oh, no look pass again to Alina Milton, and it's good. Tazea Bufford has flapped her butterfly wings and has taken over this game at the point guard position. High pick here. Rutledge has it, Esther has it. Esther looks to drive, she takes the floater, and it's good! Esther Kwagala, she is here all the way from Uganda. Kylie has it, good dribble drive to Logan for three, and it's no good. Esther with the rebound, she gets it to Rester. ASU Mid-South down by 10. Esther has it. She makes a really good pass. Floater is no good. And Alicia Skeins with the rebound. Alicia Skeins, by far the biggest fan base all the way from Farmerville, Louisiana. Bufford has it to Logan. Back to Bufford. She takes the three. It's no good. Rebound Alicia Skeins. She gets it back to Bufford. Logan another three. And it's good! Logan Smith has stretched this lead out to 13. 8.30 left to go in this half. Rester for three, no good. Esther for three, no good. And it also will be a foul. That'll be on number three, Sherilyn Rester. 8.15 left to go in this first half. Stars up by 13. ASU Mid-South takes another substitution. London Robinson. Stars up by 13. Let's see what they can do. Kylie Pertillis has it. She takes it down the baseline. Cross-court pass to Logan. Back to Bufford. Kylie has it. 14 on the shot clock. Bufford to Logan. Gets it into Alicia Skeins. 
She gets it to Portillas. She shoots it. And a blocking foul is called. On number 22, Parker. And Kylie will go to the line shooting two. These next free throws, I'm going to dedicate them to Donna Brummett, the great grandmother watching all the way from Oklahoma to Kylie Portillas. These next two are for you, Donna. Oh, and it rattles in. Kylie Portillas last year averaged 19 and 11. This year, almost as productive. Still a really good season. Can't get the second one to go. Averaging 15 points. Esther has it. Stars defense so far has been pretty, pretty good. London Robinson here. Takes it all the way in and it'll be a foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. And the foul will be on number 21, Alicia Skanes. Last Thursday, Stars had a really tough go at it. But Alicia Skanes did make quite a few hustle plays, earning a little bit more playing time tonight. First free throw is silky smooth. That's London Robinson. Second free throw is good as well. 75% free throw shooter on the season, London Robinson. Kylie Portillas, they're going to call traveling. And it is a good call. Stars up by 12 still. 7.32 left to go in the half. Logan Smith, the Stars' best perimeter defender on the other team's best player. Now they switch. Logan on Esther. It's Rester. She takes the three. It's no good. And ASU gets the hustle play here. Three is up. It's no good. Kylie gets the rebound. It's looking to push. Stars have a four on three break if they want it. Kylie decides to take the three. And it's good! Kylie Bordillis for three. 32 to 17. Oh, that's just a gross move. London Robinson. The little up and under dream shake. Are you kidding me? London Robinson. That was sweet. Stars still winning by a lot. This lineup has done a lot of good. Kylie Portillas. Started the game off on the bench. 6-17 left to go. 34-19 is your score in this first half. Oh, and Alina Milton thought she had a clean block. You can hear her say, all ball from here. But they do call her on the foul. We say hi to Sherry. Cheering on Alina. Coming into the game is Trinity Kushmal for number 21, Alicia Skeins. And with 6.13 left to go, London Robinson will go back to the free throw line. First free throw rolls in. Once again, London Robinson, a really good free throw shooter. 75%. And that's good. 34-21 is your score. Kylie Portillas has it. She makes a dangerous cross-court pass. And the bucket is good. Alina Milton goes the other way. Excuse me, that was the buff, uh, buffer going the other way. ASU Mid-South can cut this to single digits. Alina Milton gets the rebound. She gets it to Buffer. 34-23 is your score. Buffer gets it to Kylie. She gets a screen. Passes it to Logan. And they're going to call her out of bounds here. And the ball will go to the Greyhounds. Timeout for the Stars. So far, Logan Smith. 
electric from three. She only came into the game averaging two. I like her being more aggressive. Back in a moment, it's Stars Basketball. We are back once again. Executive producer for tonight's broadcast is Justin Guerin and Benji Brown. Zion Ganter co-producing on site. Carter Bryant here with you. London Robinson, they'll give her the open 15-footer, and it's good. And I was a little shocked that they, they gave it up that easy. And London just strokes it from, from distance for, for center. And it's stolen again, and it'll be a foul here on Tazea Bufford. And the Stars have had a double-digit lead for a good portion of this first half. Now, ASU Mid-South has a chance to really cut into this. Esther. And it's stolen. Logan Smith, once again, some of the best perimeter defense you'll see. Tazea Buffer tries to go all the way, and she will get fouled. On number 34, London Robinson. And Bufford will get a chance to shoot two. Tazea Bufford from Benton, Arkansas. Swish. Stars up by 11 now, 4.46 left to go in this first half. Once again, ASU Mid-South, this is a six-person roster. Stars are a deep team. Every single player that's dressed out has basically played tonight for the Stars outside of one, and I do think you'll see Cameron Dixon at some point. Good box out by Elena Milton. She gets a rebound. Stars up by 11. 4.18 left to go in this first half. Stars once again losing, uh, looking for that first home victory of the season. Logan gets it to Bufford. And it's a reach-in foul on number two, Ayanna Rutledge, the best player on ASU Mid-South's team. So far this season, she's averaged 14 points per game. And it, she steals it, and she'll get an easy bucket here. This has plagued the Stars all season long, the easy transition turnover buckets on the other side. Milton has it. Dribble handoff here to Bufford. The floater's up. It's short. Rebound to ASU Mid-South. London Robinson has it. Jumpers, no good. That's an amazing rebound by Esther for ASU Mid-South. The power of college basketball recruiting. Esther Quagala. Do you think you love ball? Now she loves ball. All the way here from Uganda. You got to love it. First free throw is good. ASU Mid-South, district champs in 2013, 2016, 2020, and 2021. And this year, they're 2-13. and 13. A down year for them. And they are only down by eight now. Emma Kate McBride has it. She gets it into Alina Milton. Milton, the up and under. Oh, Almost an amazing bucket right there. Esther has it. 
She'll get the step into a three and it's good. Rutledge for three has cut the lead down to five. I'm a little shocked that they just let her step into that three. It's Milton, wide open, can't get it to go. Stars, 2.46 left to go in this half. ASU Mid-South could cut this to a one possession game. Esther takes it all the way in. Shocked there wasn't a foul there. Stars get away with one. 2.34 left to go. Trinity Kushmal passes it to Emma Kate McBride. Kylie for three, no good. Alina with the rebound. She goes up, no foul. Kushmal up, and she gets it to go. Trinity Kushmal for two. 2.12 left to go. Stars up by seven. Rester, no good. Rebound by Alina Milton. She gets it to Tazea Bufford. ASU Mid-South, all the way from West Memphis, Arkansas, which is basically Memphis. Kylie thought about the three. She takes the two, and it's good! 1.46 left to go. Stars have got the lead back out to nine. 140 left to go in this first half. ASU Mid-South, a little winded here. 130 left to go in this first half. No good, Kushmal gets it to Bufford. Will she go coast to coast? She'll try, and she loses it. It'll be Greyhounds basketball. Two subs coming in, Lexi Robinson and J.C. Bishop for Alina Milton and Kylie Portillas. Kylie has been really good tonight. One of her better games on the season. 118 left to go in this first half. London Robinson almost gets it to go. She gets a rebound, and she's going to get a foul call here. It'll be on Trinity Kushmal, I believe. First free throw for London is good. We'd like to thank our Stars partners, Harrison Financial Management, Tidwell Consulting, and Murphy USA. No good. Good rebound by Trinity Kushmal. Stars up by eight with a minute left in this half. Buffer takes the three. No good. ASU Mid-South has it. Rester's going to go coast to coast. And she misses the lay-in. And it's Stars ball after a tussle. Forty-seven seconds left to go. Stars really can't get a two for one here. Uh, they're going to slow it down. Buffer gets the ball here from Lexi. Gets the screen from Lexi, and she gets fouled. And Buffer will go to the line to shoot two. ASU Mid-South coming into this game lost two very close ones, one by five and another, I believe, by three. First free throw is no good. Second free throw is no good as well. ASU Mid-South has it. Oh, what a block from Lexi Robinson. Emma K. McBride can go coast to coast if she wants to. She stops, can't get it to go, and it'll be ASU Mid-South ball. Oh, man, what a block from Lexi Robinson. 16 seconds left to go. ASU Mid-South can hold for the last shot. I believe it will be Iana Rutledge that takes it. Stars should be ready for it. No good. Stars can get one more shot up if they want it. 
JC heaves it, and it's no good. Your score after one half of play, Stars 40, ASU Mid-South 32. Let's hear it, shooting Stars Nation. Back in a moment, it's Stars Basketball on YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button, baby. Let's go.
And we are back. Stars up by eight. Fresh 10 on the clock. 20 minutes left to go in this one. Stars looking to get their first home victory of the season. ASU Mid-South did a good job to storm back into the game. Esther with the ball. She gets it to Rester. Rester takes it in. Out of control. Air balls the layup. Kylie Portillas gets it to Bufford. 9.34. Left to go in this third quarter. Kylie, cross court pass to Bufford. Logan Smith has it. She gets it to Kylie. She takes it all the way in. What a pass! Kylie Portillas to Alina Milton for two. And here come the stars. Stolen here. Bufford has it. She takes it all the way in. No foul, interesting. Kylie gets fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Kylie Portillas starting off this half hot. She didn't start the game, came off the bench. So far this year averaging 15 points per game. She is what I like to call a five-tool player. First free throws up and it's good. Kylie Portillas. One of the best players to ever play for the Lady Stars. Second free throws up. And it's good. Kylie Pertillis continues her reign. We say hi to Crystal watching. Good defense from the Stars here. You can see ASU Mid-South. Struggling. Get Elena Milton has it. And she gets it to Kylie Portillas. And Portillas looks to dribble this out. And with 8.27 left to go in this third quarter, Stars are up by 12. Good give and go action. Elena Milton and Kylie Portillas for two. Stars up by 14. Esther with the ball. And they're going to call a blocking foul right here on Tazea Bufford. 8.05 left to go. One big change in college basketball officiating. Trying to get rid of the charge. So a lot of these 50-50 block charge calls, they're going to go in favor of the offense. Good steal. Four on the shot clock, and over and back is called. Very unlucky for the over and back. Stars would have had an easy coast-to-coast -coast layup. 7.44 left to go. 46-32 to 32 is your score. Milton has it. Alina Milton gets it to the butterfly. She takes the floater. It's no good. 7.30 left to go in the third quarter. Stars up by 14. Esther has it. Passes to London. Air ball there. Kylie's got numbers if she wants them. She'll take the three. Oh, and it rattles out. It looked good from here. 7.12 left to go in this third quarter. And they call another block. Into the game for Bufford. Will be Imitate McBride. ASU Mid-South looking for their third victory on the season. They have played some close losses recently. Stolen here by him. Logan Smith, the best defensive player on the Stars team. It's going to be interesting to see if Logan Smith can get her shot going. She started off the game really hot, 
hasn't taken a three since the end of the first quarter. So maybe they could generate some offense to get her some open looks. Kylie gets it to J.C. Bishop. She gets it back to Kylie Portillas. She drives in. Layup no good. Good, re good rebound by Esther. I really like her game. She's got the Horace Grant goggles. She takes it all the way in, and what a block! Alita Milton slams it down. The Stars' defense has been amazing tonight. Floaters up, it's no good. Rebound Rester, she gets it up. Rebound by Emma Kate McBride. J.C. Bishop takes a tough hit. Oh, oh, Emma Kate McBride, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness gracious. I hate to say it, but an ankle was literally broken on the court. Oh my goodness. Emma Kate McBride. I hope number three, Sherilyn Rester is okay from El Dorado. She has been amazing tonight for ASU Mid-South. But it was number three on number three there. One of the nastiest crossovers you will see. Emma Kate McBride, call her hot sauce. Three is no good. And if Rester is hurt, ASU Mid-South only has five players to end this game. Emma K. McBride takes the three and it's good! And the Stars are up by 17. Emma K. McBride on fire. London takes the long shot, no good. Rebound by Alicia Skeins. They're gonna call her for traveling. And ASU Mid South to get a 30 second shot clock here. They're still in this game. London Robinson spins in and they're gonna call the foul on number five, JC Bishop. She was in good position for some help side defense. You just can't impede there. I really don't know what she could do, though. I mean, you're allowed to be in your own space, but it is what it is. First free throw is good. London Robinson has a sweet stroke. Rarely is the center the best free throw shooter on the team, but that is her. She has not missed from the free throw line tonight. Stars up by 15. Emma Kate's gonna take another three. No good. Logan Smith gets the rebound. Alicia Skeins gets it to Emma Kate. Alicia Skeins has it. Dribble handoff, nine seconds on the shot clock. Something needs to go up. JC Bishop will say, yes, ma'am. Stars up by 18. They can feel it. London Robinson. Block shot by Alina Milton. And they're gonna call JC Bishop on the block here. Great help side defense from JC Bishop. But she did foul. I tell you, London Robinson has the sweetest free throw stroke. You will see. She's not hit the rim yet tonight. Again, it's every single time. Somebody calls Steve Nash. Emma Kate McBride for three again. No good. ASU Mid-South. They have a chance for a transition layup here. And they'll get it. 
52 to 38. Emma Kate McBride has it. Passes it in to Alina Milton. And she just throws it away. 4.02 left to go. Nate Evans will call a timeout and we'll take it with them. 4.02 left to go, 14 point game. Can the Stars close it out? Back after this. And here come the Stars, up by 14. Four minutes left to go. Logan Smith with the steal. Can the Stars push all the way? Alicia Skaines has it, she'll shoot. And it's good! 54 to 38 is your score, 341 left to go. Alicia Skaines down in a stance. And they'll call Logan on a block here, or a reach in. It's a good call, 328 left to go, 54 to 38 is the score. Oh, and this is a bonus situation. ASU Mid-South will get a chance to score with no time running off the clock. Welcome you in, please hit the subscribe button, ring uh, the bell. First free throw is no good. Ayanna Rutledge on the season from the free throw line has actually been pretty good. Also around 75%. Second free throw is good. Milton gets it into J.C. Bishop. Logan Smith has it. She gets it stolen, and that'll be a foul. Wondering here if Nate Evans is going to get either Kylie Portillis or Bufford back in, and it looks like that is what he's going to do. Kylie comes in for Alicia Skeins. First free throw is no good. Summer 22, Parker. Second free throw is good. We got a 54 to 40 game. Stars up by 40, uh, by 14, excuse me. Portillas gets it to Bishop, back to Kylie. Kylie takes it in. Good pass to Milton, and she gets it to go. Milton from Portillas. That's how the half actually started. Stars once again up by 16. Good help defense again from Logan Smith. Tough fadeaway. Stars don't get the rebound, but they do get the possession. And it will be Stars ball. 2.47 left to go. Stars up by 16. J.C. Bishop gets it to Kylie Portillas. She takes the fadeaway. Oh, how did that not go in? 2.32 left to go, 16 point game. And that's gonna be a good foul call. Number two, Ianna Rutledge. Stars down to, or I say stars, the Greyhounds are down to their final five players. 
it does look like number three rester from El Dorado is okay. First free throws up, and it's good. Substitution. Will there be a substitution? Looked like the subs were ready. They're not going to bring him in. 227 left to go, 15-point lead for the Stars in this third quarter. Second free throw is no good. ASU Mid-South gets the rebound. Logan Smith gets it back, and they're going to call traveling. Into the game is number 12, Lexi Robinson. And Rester comes in for number 24, Esther Quagala. Two twenty. Rester gets it to Rutledge. Rutledge takes it all the way in. She can't get it to go. London Robinson gets a rebound. And it'll go to the Stars. Jump ball to the Stars. Logan Smith, it's every single game. She is making the hustle plays. She has really stepped up since Zoe Nation has been out for the Stars. Emma Kate McBride. Jump ball, and that'll go to the Greyhounds. Stars up by 15. Don't forget, second game of the doubleheader coming up. We'll also have another home doubleheader Thursday, and we'll have it for you right here on YouTube. Rutledge. The Greyhounds gets it to Rester for three. It's no good. Kylie has it. And we will get a blocking foul here. It's on number 34, London Robinson. It will be on the floor. Stars with 22 seconds left to go in the shot clock. Lexi has it. Gets it to Kylie Portillas. 19 on the shot clock. Good pass to Logan Smith. Makes the extra pass to Lexi, and it's good. The unselfish play has really worked out here for the Stars. 58 to 41. Oh, block, and it'll be Stars ball. With less than a minute left to go in this third quarter, Stars up by 17. Logan Smith to Kylie Portillas. That's a block. They have been calling that exact thing a block all game. Sherilyn Rester, good to see her back healthy. She was a victim of an Imicate McBride crossover earlier this quarter. Imicate gets it to Lexi. Back to Imicate for three. And they're going to call a foul here on Lexi Robinson in a legal screen. And it didn't look like much, but the refs are refing. Tonight, the whistles have been blown quite a bit. Stars defense. Oh! The referee almost got in the way. It looked like Logan Smith had a chance to steal. What a steal again! And a good take from Rester. Logan Smith gets hammered, and it is a foul. Stars up by 15. Into the game is Esther. 15 seconds left to go in this third quarter. 
Will the Stars hold for final shot? They probably should, but they take the three. It's no good. Oh! And they're going to call the foul here on number five, Richara Cooper. And it looks like it'll go to the Stars with seven seconds left to go. Stars will need to get something up quickly. Emma K. McBride has it. And the ball will go to Aetsu Mid-South. Esther has it. And she gets it in at the buzzer. What a bucket from Esther Quagala to make it a 13-point game. Back in a moment, it's Stars Basketball. And here come the Stars. 58 to 45 is your score. And here we go. No good. Can the Stars close this one out? Can't get it to go. Rebound here to Mid-South. Rutledge. Esther has it. Up and under is no good. And Buffer can go coast to coast if she wants to. And she gets hammered. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. First free throw up for Bufford, and it's good. Second free throw for Bufford, it's good. Sixty to forty-five. Nine minutes left to go. Stars up by fifteen. Can they close this out? They're going to call the block here on J.C. Bishop. And Stars have really struggled with that ball screen action. Three is up, and it's good. Rutledge for three. It's a 12-point lead for the Stars. are gonna call a blocking foul. They have been consistent with the blocking foul all night long. Oh, Kylie slips. 
And Rester has it. And it's good. And we have ourselves a 10 point game. 8.32 left to go. Stars need to keep playing and don't just dribble the clock out. Floater is up and it's good. A huge bucket to stop the momentum from the butterfly. Out of control, Stars get a rebound here. Milton gets it to Bufford. Stolen by Rutledge. And Kylie Pertillis will get called for the foul here. And it is a good foul by Kylie Pertillis to prevent the transition bucket. Stars up by 12. Looking for that first home victory on the year. Stars going up against a 2-13 ASU Mid-South team. Rester takes the three and it's good. And it's a nine point game. Oh, they only gave a two point bucket there. The butterfly takes a three. It's an air ball. And JC Bishop can't save it. 734 left to go. Into the game is Trinity Kushmal for Kylie Portillis. And into the game, number 34, London Robinson. Momentum has shifted here. The Greyhounds have it. Emma Kate McBride guarding now it's J.C. Bishop guarding Rester. She takes a deep one. It's no good. Rebound. Trinity Kushmal playing her best game of the season. Emma Kate McBride has it. Gets it to the butterfly. Almost stolen. Save. J.C. Bishop gets it to Alina Milton, who gets it to Bufford. Eight on the shot clock. They got to go. The butterfly gets it up. No foul. She saves it. And ASU Mid-South has it. Rester has it. And it's good. And it's an eight point game. With 6.36 left to go. Once again, Rester from El Dorado had a knee injury in the third quarter. She has really turned up the heat. The butterfly has it. She shoots it and it gets deflected by Rutledge. Stars only up eight. Rutledge takes the shot. No good. Rebound Trinity Kushmal. She gets it to Emma Kate McBride. She gets it to Bufford. Wide open three here for JC Bishop. No good. Trinity Kushmal has it. She can't get it to go. Six minutes left to go. Oh, Rester's just going to get to walk into this three. It's no good. Emma Kate McBride has it. And now that's a foul right there. On number five, Ricara Cooper. And coming back into the game for the Stars is Kylie Pertillis for Trinity Kushmal. And number two, Logan Smith. Let's see if the Stars... Oh, and they actually take Bufford out and they bring in Logan and Kylie. Kylie can't get it to go. 5.36 left to go. I, I don't know who's guarding who. Esther, the fadeaway, no good. Kylie gets the rebound. Star's defense has begun to lack, and Nate Evans takes a well-timed timeout. You can see the Star's legs getting a little heavy, and we'll take it with them. Eight-point lead. Back in a moment, it's Star's basketball.
All right, it's Logan Smith getting this into J.C. Bishop. Somebody's got to come get the ball. Somebody's got to get the ball, and M.K. McBride does. And she loses it. 5-11 left to go. The Stars have had issues with turnovers. It looks like ASU Mid-South is flopping every chance they can. Logan Smith gets it to Kylie Portillas. She takes it all the way in, and it's good! A huge bucket from Kylie Portillas to stretch this lead back to 10. 4.42 left to go. At this point, with everyone being very tired, I would keep working it into the paint if I was either one of these teams. Still plenty of time for ASU Mid-South to not take bad shots. And they took one there. Kylie Pertillis, some really good defense coming into the game. Buffered for J.C. Bishop. Rutledge takes it in. And Rester has it under the goal. She can't get it to go, and it's a huge rebound by Logan Smith. And she'll dribble it out. 4.14 left to go. Buffered all the way in, can't get it to go. Rebound, Emma Kate McBride. Cross court pass to Kylie Portillas. And she throws it out of bounds. 4.03 left to go. Stars get a few more buckets here. The game is essentially over. Rutledge gets it in to Esther. Rester to Rutledge. Wild shot, no good. Rebounds good. Parker. Thirty thirty-three left to go. That'll be a blocking foul on number two, Ayanna Rutledge. Milton has it. She gets it to Bufford. 3.25 left to go. 15 on the shot clock. Kylie Portillas, what a bucket! <laughs> Kylie Portillas for two! What a shot from Kylie. She has been unfreaking believable for the Stars tonight. Rebound, Emma Kate McBride. Oh, Buffer takes it all the way in for two. And it'll be a timeout. ASU Mid-South stars rolling here up by 12. 68 to 56 is your score. We'll wrap it up in just a moment. Let's get it. Logan Smith almost made it another steal, and she almost gets another one. And it's a foul here on Alina Milton. South Dark Stars. To the line, shooting two. 
Ianna Rutledge, one of the better point guards we've seen this year. Greyhounds will shoot two. Looking to cut the lead back down to 10. And it rattles out. Oh, man. Second free throw's good. Bufford has it. You gotta be kidding me with that pass. And that's gonna be a foul on Rutledge. Would not be shocked if this is five on Rutledge. And it's good, Elena Melton. Second free throw's good. Good defense from the Stars. Emma K. McBride has already snatched some ankles tonight. Kylie Portillis looks to slow it down. Kylie Portillis from Louisiana. She takes it in, and they finally, finally, they call the charge. They have not been calling that a charge all game. And now it gets down to the nitty gritty, and they call a charge there. How is that a charge? Nate Evans is beside himself. Two oh three left to go. Stars up by thirteen. Looks like that was off ASU Mid-South, but it wasn't. 148 left to go. 70 to 57 is your score. Let's see what the Stars can do here. Rest her for three, it's no good. Kylie Pertillis gets it to, Z to Zaya Bufford. She makes a cross-court pass to Emma Kate McBride. No good on the three. Good rebound by Elena Milton. She shoots the floater. Oh, and it just rolls out. Esther takes it all the way. Good rebound by Logan Smith. She has made every hustle play tonight. Logan Smith, number two. Ladies and gentlemen, the Energizer Bunny won't back down. Ha, 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 stars are one minute and 19 seconds away from a much needed victory. And it's good. Second free throw is good. To the line, shooting two, Rutledge. Free throw's good. One eleven left to go. Free throw's good. 
Rutledge has been great. Into the game, Trinity Kushmal. Milton will take it out. Stars just really need to inbound this ball. It is Kylie Portillas. She has it. She gets it to Emma Kate McBride. Back to Kylie Portillas. She takes it all the way in. And it's good! Oh, they called her for a travel. Let's see what happens here. Rester for three, no good. Rebound Esther. Can't get a handle on it. And it'll remain with the Greyhounds. The ending at this point seems inevitable. Shots up, no good. London Robinson, no good. Oh, and there is a huge collision. Tazea Bufford is just one incredible athlete. I mean, she takes the toughest hits and she just pops right back up. 41 seconds left to go. Kushmal gets it to Bufford. Stars. The issue mid south is not fouling. Kushmal has it. She gets it to Milton. Nine on the shot clock. Milton, the left handed hook is no good. 16 seconds left to go. Stars, if they don't foul, the game is essentially over. And they foul. If you're Alina Milton, just let him score. The game's over. But it is inevitable. Stars will get a crucial victory. And it's an air ball. <laughs> Second one's no good. Kylie Portillas throws it down to Emma Kate McBride. Five seconds left. And the South Park. Stars get a much needed victory. How about those stars? 72, ASU Mid South 59. Oh, oh, oh man, it has been a tough, tough, tough season, but the stars shoot their way to a victory. Coming up next, second part of a doubleheader. Let's go. Wipe me down, Stars Nation. Let's get it. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Second part of the doubleheader coming up in just a second. You're watching South Dark Stars on YouTube. Let's go.
And here we go. Stars Nation, I need to see you in the chat. Ladies have already gotten a dub tonight. And now it's time for the men, okay? 20 minutes of first half action, 20 minutes of second half action. We'll have no starting lineups. We'll just get right into action. Your coach for the ASU Mid-South Greyhounds, Cody Hastings, one of the younger coaches at any level in college basketball. And Cam Robinson, definitely early in his coaching career as well. Cam Robinson also a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. One of our scores keepers, Mrs. Tatum, is a huge 49ers fan. So we do have a split South Dark Stars crew going into the Super Bowl. Let me know who you think is going to win the big game. Will it be the fighting Taylor Swifts or the fighting, I don't know any celebrity 49ers fans, uh, fighting Jerry Rice's. How about that? <laughs> Your starting lineup for the Stars, Jalen King getting a start here. And let's see what happens here. ASU Mid-South, 10 and 10 on the season, coming off of a three-point victory earlier this week at home, or last week at home. Stars 10 and six on the year. First three is up, it's no good, and it'll be Stars ball. The two players to look out for for ASU Mid-South, number 21, Jesse Washington, and number 24, Jamarion Westbrook. They're the only two players on this team averaging double figures on the season. Troy Ramos is here with the ball. He gets it in to Jalen King. He now has it. He gets it up. It's no good. Rebound ASU Mid-South. ASU Mid-South has it. Deep three is up. Off the front rim, no good. We'll go the other way. Right in the light bulb, Edison takes it all the way in. He gets hacked. And that should be a shooting foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Braden Edison, what a development. When he got here to South Dark, he was not the offensive threat he is now. He'll go to the line to shoot two. I've gotten to know the light bulbs family. One of the best families you'll see. They drove from all around Kansas City, Katy, Texas, to come to a game earlier this year. Absolutely love that. Second free throw for Braden. It's up and it's good. Stars take the lead two to zero. Still no buckets in this game. 18.58 left to go, only a minute in. Last game was a defensive affair. Oh, good take right there. That's number three, Kyron Doc. Ties it up here. Ramos gets it to Garcia. He takes it in, and it's good! Damian Garcia scores the easy two. Three's up and it's good. Once again, I tried to tell you, Jamarion Westbrook can really play. Ramos gets it to the light bulb. Great pass to Jalen King and he gets it to go. Braden Edison, it is, the, the development is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. There's nothing this man can't do. He can pass, he can rebound, he can defend, and the Stars are on defense now. And Westbrook again to the 10. No good, good rebound by Damian Garcia. He gets it to Ramos, first three is up, and it's good! <laughs> Troy Ramos gets the lead out. It's nine to five stars, 17, 20, 
three left to go in this first half. Three is up for Doc and it's silky smooth. Nine to eight, your score. Ramos gets doubled, gets it to King. Good pass to Briggs. He gets hammered. Oh, and he almost makes a circus layup. Raheem the Dream Briggs, home of the land of filet mignon. Omaha, known for stakes, the College World Series, and one of the highest flying stars you'll ever see, Raheem Briggs. He's got the Charlotte Hornets turquoise shoes on. Lots of stars out here with new kicks. I love it for the home stretch season. Free throws up and it's silky smooth. Let's get it, stars. Throw some star emojis in the chat. I, I see Almost Famous getting it done. Value mine, let me see you. Boost this algorithm. Hit the like button. Second free throw from Raheem Briggs is no good. Ooh, good defense from the Stars. And oh man, it didn't look like much contact there, but they will call a foul. And I think they called that on Jalen King. Interesting, I, if it was on anyone, you would think it would have been on Garcia. Doc takes a 15-footer, and it's good. Kyron Doc came into this game only averaging eight. He's already there. Ramos gets it to the dream. Braden Edison, nowhere to go. Gets it to Jalen King. And the floater is no good. Oh, and I saw what Ramos tried to do. He did have Briggs open in the corner, no good. Substitutions already a plenty for ASU Mid-South. Coming into the game, number five, Chris Martin. Three is up, it's no good, Braden Edison has it. 10-10 game. Damian Garcia for three. The Mustache Mafia is on fire, and the Stars have taken a three-point lead. 15.57 left to go in this first half. Folks, I need you to lock in. This is Stars basketball. We're taking it to another level this year. Let's go. And here come the Stars, up by three. 15.57 left to go in this first half. Chris Martin has it, and I'm not talking about Coldplay. It's kicked out of bounds. That is the lead singer of Coldplay, right, Chris Martin? That is his name, number five. They can't find the basketball. It looks like... The basketball went down this hallway. They cannot find it. And they found it. Yeah, they found the ball. Yeah, they found the ball. I think you need that. Huh? 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 Here's Chris Martin with the ball. ASU Mid South. Oh, nasty crossover. That's a good bucket. 21, Jesse Washington, the second leading scorer on this team. Excuse me, he is the leading scorer. Braden can't get it to go. And ASU Mid-South looking to take their first lead. Tough three is up, and it's good. Jesse Washington had been quiet. He gets five in a row here. 
and they take a two-point lead here. The level of basketball here tonight is really, really, really high. Damian Garcia for three. And it's good! The Mustache Mafia is good again. No good. Oh, that's a good rebound and pass. You got to tip your hat. Number 15 gets the finish there. That's Tucker. Briggs takes it in. ASU wanted a travel. I don't know what they're looking at. It is a foul for two. And we have Raheem the Dream Briggs back to the free throw line. Raheem Briggs, up and down year one for the Stars, year two here. He has been a consistent starter. And he gets it to go. This is what I love about Raheem Briggs. If I was good enough to play college basketball, I would drip. And look at Briggs. He's got the Allen Iverson shooter sleeve on the left hand and the Cobra Kai headband. You gotta love it. Second free throw is good. And into the game. The best sixth man I have ever seen for the South Dark Stars is Jamarion Cato. When he gets going, you can make a case he's the best player on this roster. Chris Martin with the ball here. Oh, it got away with a little travel there. Good defense from the Stars. Put back, though, is good. That's number 20, Darren Wallace. There's Kato, his first touch. He takes the three. What did I tell you? I mean... To have a player this good coming off the bench is absurd. Stars have a two-point lead. And Ramos gets it. Stars up by two. Jamario Cato gets stripped. Number 20, Darren Wallace on the foul. Into the game now, Kashun Brown for Jalen King. Stars going small here. Ramos has it. Throws it away. ASU Mid-South. On transition, and Ramos gets it back. Stars have a three-on-three -three break here. Ramos gets it to Cato. He loses it, and it'll go to the Greyhounds. And it's a timeout for Cam Robinson. We'll take it with him. Sorry to report this. 
I actually got into it with my cameraman tonight, Zion Ganter. And we'll get we'll tell you what the kerfuffle is about over here. Three is no good from ASU. Braden has it. Gets it across the timeline. Troy Ramos. Can't get it to go. Chris Martin. Ooh, I don't know if that was off Ramos. It'll go to the Greyhounds. Back into the game, number three, Kyron Dock. And coming into the game for the first time, number two, Philip Tillman. One of the best dunkers on this team out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Jumper's good. Jamarion Westbrook. Ramos gets it to the light bulb. Cato gets it to Philip Tillman. Looks like Tillman got poked in the face. No foul. He gets it to Cato. Shots up. And it's good. Jamarion Cato. And your score is 23 to 21. This is a very offensive game early on. If you can't shoot, you can't play in this game. Traveling. <laughs> South Ark ball coming into the game, number 23, Ian Rios. For number 24, Jamarion Westbrook. So a 17-point score comes out for a two-point score. Can the Stars make a run? Actually... The two best players for ASU Mid-South are on the bench. Cato takes a deep three. It's no good. Ball is thrown out of bounds. So the biggest advantage the Stars have in this game is they are a deeper team. Five different double-figure scorers. ASU Mid-South only has two, and both of them are on the bench right now. Can the Stars make a run? Kashun Brown has it. He splits the double. Gets it to an open Phillip Tillman. He takes it all the way in, and it's blocked! Good defense from ASU Mid-South to protect the paint. 11 minutes left to go. Stars only up two. Kyron Dock has it. Chris Martin takes the three. It's no good. Rebound Ramos. And it's stolen. And it's an easy bucket for number 23, Ian Rios. He's already matched his scoring average on the season with that one bucket. 10 28 left to go. Stars tied 23-23. Been a little sloppy with the ball early. The light bulb takes a step back three. It's no good. Almost rebounded by Cato, but it's Doc. Oh, and Ramos gets called for the foul. Cam Robinson has done a great job recruiting and coaching this roster. Takes out Ramos and Edison into the game. Jalen King and Garcia. Buckets up, and it's an easy one for number 20, Wallace. And the Greyhounds are up by two. Phil Timlin gets it to Cato. It's when you really break it down, Jamari on Cato might be the best player on this Stars team. That was a ridiculous layup to tie the game. And Jalen King has it. He gets it to Garcia. And he throws it down! Damian Garcia! 
Could Sean Brown try to save it? Damian Garcia. This game rated NC-17. Tuck the kids in bed. This is explicit content. Damian Garcia, throw it down, young man. And that's going to be an and one. Good comeback here from Jamarion Westbrook. The momentum shifted back to the stars. Coming into the game is Raheem the Dream Briggs for Jamarion Cato. 27-27 is your score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I need you in the chat to give me your grade on that dunk. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Kashawn Brown gets it. I, I heard a... I heard someone give it a seven in the in the crowd. I was like, oh, really? That's got to be at least an eight. Philip Tillman has it, nine seconds. Gets it to Brown. He puts it up for three. No good. Kashun Brown. Good steal from Philip Tillman. 8.36 left to go. Scores 27-27. What a pass from Brown to Garcia. He takes the three. No good. Good rebound for Jalen King, and he gets fouled. So this is insane. Huh? 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 The biggest Damian Garcia fan, his dear beloved mother, said even she was surprised. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> oh, man. Jalen King has it. Garcia gets it to Tillman. Tillman to Brown. Brown takes a deep three. No good. A rebound ASU Mid-South. It's a three-on-three -three break. Eight minutes left to go. Good rebound from Damian Garcia. I mean, if you have to pick a first first half MVP, it is Garcia. Philip Tillman takes it in. The up and under, no good. Garcia almost gets a rebound, and it'll be ASU Mid-South ball. Your score still remains Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Deep three is up. God, 21 can really play. Jesse Washington is just a good basketball player. I mean, that's all there is to it. Philip Tillman decides against the three. Garcia takes it. No good. It rattles out. ASU Mid-South, 30, stars 27. Folks, y'all better lock in. Floater's no good. Kashun Brown has it. I don't care if you have work tomorrow. You better stay up with me tonight. I feel like we're going to be in for a thriller. Philip Tillman has it. He gets it to Raheem Briggs. Back to Tillman. Screen comes. Tillman takes the three. And it's good! Your score, Steph Curry to Steph Curry. Long three is up, no good. Garcia again makes a play to get it to Jalen King. Kashun Brown has it. Brown takes it all the way in. What a pass to Jalen King, but they do call a foul on the floor. I, I and I've gotten to know Kashun's mom a little bit on this dream. He is a short guy. I mean, he is not a big guy at all but he is still able to see 
everything on the floor at once. I mean, it is insane, his court vision. I, I really have no idea how he got that pass off. It's just excellent, excellent stuff. Garcia has it. Jalen King, 17 on the shot clock. They get it to Garcia, and he gets fouled. And that's a big foul on Jesse Washington. Probably the best scorer on the floor tonight. He's number 21 for ASU Mid-South. A silky smooth player. Gets called for a critical foul. We'll keep you up to date on his foul progress. But Garcia will go to the line to shoot two. 30-30 game. Free throw rattles in. The light bulb coming into the game, uh, probably for the shooter. So Garcia will probably get a breath after he swishes this next one. 31 to 30, your score. It's good. No, 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 no. They're, they're not going to do a sub. Stars up by two. You are in for a treat tonight. Stolen by Kashun Brown. He takes it all the way, and it's good. Can he get another steal? He almost does. It is insane how good he is at defense. Stolen by Damian Garcia. He takes it all the way for two, and it's good. Stars have a six-point lead, and head coach Cody Hastings says, stop the bleeding. 5.24 left to go in this first half. Soldier Boy, tell him. And we are back. Stars up by six. Jalen King gets hammered and he'll get the foul call here. Coming back into the game, number 13, Jamari on Cato. And let's see who he's coming in for. Oh, Stars will get free throws here. Jalen King will go to the line to shoot two. And Cato will come in for Briggs. Once again, Stars, 10 and 6 on the season, 2 and 2 in conference. ASU Mid South, 10 and 10 on the season, and 1 and 3 in conference. Stars missed the first half of the 1 and 1. Five minutes left to go in this first half. Oh, they're going to get Jalen King on a foul on Jamarion Westbrook. 
That's a really good free throw shooter. And he'll shoot three here. Cam Robinson frustrated. Never want to foul the three-point shooter. <laughs> Second free throw is a miss. And into the game, Kashawn Brown for Jalen King. It did look like Jalen got a piece on the follow through and we'll see if Washington can go two for three. And he does. Full court pressure here. Stars break it easily. Damian Garcia. Oh, he doesn't get the foul on the follow through. Very interesting. And it'll go to the Stars. Good defense from Jamarion Cato. From Simsboro, Louisiana. Jamarion Cato. Let's see if Ramos can get going here. Brown has it. To Garcia. Braden Edison. What a spin move from Braden. The layup is good. Stars up by six with four minutes left to go in this first half. What a dribble handoff pass right there. It's number 24, Westbrook. Garcia has it. Good block right there from ASU Mid-South. Cato open for three. That's not a guy you want to leave open. Number 13 for the Stars, Jamarion Cato. And number 23, Damian Garcia. Really carrying the Stars tonight. They're up by seven. That's just good ball movement. ASU Mid-South, a really good offensive team. Good three-man game right there. Three minutes left to go. Stars up by five. Cato has it. And he gets fouled. Jamarion Cato again. And again. And again. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Cam Robinson coaching up his group. First one rattles in. Once again, the Stars, they are not the biggest team you'll see at the NJCAA, but every single player is multifaceted. Kashawn Brown. <laughs> huh? 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 It is ridiculous. You cannot cross him. And he gets the strip off the leg, but they call a foul. You think you have a step on him, but you really don't. That looked good to me, and a turnover going the other way. But what do I know about basketball? <laughs> huh? 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 Floater's up and it's good. That's number 15, Devonta Tucker. Ooh, Brown. Can't get it to go. Doc has it for ASU Mid-South. Number three. Defense! Defense! 
stolen by Kashawn Brown. Ramos to floater, it gets blocked. Troy Ramos getting a little frustrated. This has been his toughest half of the season. Ramos came into this game. Number 11 from Pine Bluff averaging 20. They have done a really good job Ding him up. Deshaun Brown has it, back to Braden Edison. He gets it to Cato. He takes the fadeaway. No good. Good defense. ASU Mid-South. The offense has kind of slowed down in the second half of this first half. It's number 12, Samuel Chapin, taking it to the 10. And they'll call that on the floor. 136 left to go. Stars up by five. Into the game, Philip Tillman for number five, Braden Edison. Stars have nine players dressed out tonight. Tay Hindured, the athletic big man for Baton Rouge, out with the concussion. Goaltending will be the call. Once again, the referees have just... The referees have not called really any charges tonight at all. stars. 134 left to go. It was good tonight to see a lot of resters out. They have a um, a daughter who plays for ASU Mid-South. She had a great game. But still, the Lady Stars victorious in game number one. Can we be, be victorious in game number two? We see Lemon Pepper Dave in the chat. Almost famous. That's my buddy. Tequila. Ty. We see all of you. Please smash that subscribe button. Ring the bell. We're at 775 subs. I'm proud of you guys. Kato gets fouled. Jamarion Kato will go to the line to shoot two. The thing about the basketball at this level, the athlete, the caliber of athlete, has gotten better and better and better over the last couple of seasons. And if you are just joining us for the first time this year, these players, a lot of them come from metros, right? Garcia from Houston. Edison from Kansas City. Stars in the double bonus. They're up by five now. Stars bring a full court pressure and they throw it away. Cato has it. He gets it to Ramos. To Kashun Brown. Gets a pump fake. Floater is good. Kashun Brown. Defense pays off. Full court pressure. Giving ASU Mid-South some issues. They will break it and get an easy two here. Five point game. Stolen here. Stolen back by the Stars. Ramos to Cato for three. It's good! Jamarion Cato. Eight point lead for the Stars. 16 on the shot clock. Stars will get one final possession. They can get a rebound here. And they do. They do have to push. 12 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Ramos has it. This is normally Troy Ramos time. Cato's gonna take it. Ooh! Ah, 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 ah. And I will tell you this. If he would have made that, not a single one of you would have been shocked. Jamari on Cato is a superstar. Back in a moment, first half is locked in. Stars 50, Greyhounds 42. Let's get it.
Don't forget Boosie coming to El Dorado here in a few weeks. From the best city in America, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Well, second best city to El Dorado, Arkansas. Ha, 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 ha. Stars up by eight. 20 minutes left to go. Should be a fun second half. Damian Garcia will take it out. We do have a minor pause. Oh, we needed a third referee. And there he is. He was going to get the script. Kidding. <laughs> I love the conspiracies. Yeah, they're fixing all of it. The light bulb gets it up. No good. And here we go. <laughs> this half is going to get crazy. Oh, Stars got away with a little foul, and they'll get the ball too. I'll take it. I told you, I had to go get the script. 19-25, left to go. 50 to 42. Braden in the light bulb, Edison. Hands it off here to Ramos. He takes a floater. Doesn't go in. He gets it back. Great pass to Briggs. And he gets it to go. Raheem the Dream Briggs up by, makes it a 10 point lead. Stars bring pressure. Tucker. Oh, it's a deep three, and it's wet. 21, Jesse Washington. Strokes it. Jalen has it. Good pass to the light bulb. He spins in, and he gets it to go. 54 to 45 is your score. 18.30 left to go in this one. Stars pressure, giving ASU Mid-South trouble. They do get it across the timeline eventually. Oh, that was a good no-look pass. They weren't ready for it. They do get it back. 13 still on the shot clock. ASU Mid-South gets a three off. It's an air ball. And Garcia eventually gets a rebound. He passes it to Jalen King. He makes the extra pass here to Raheem Briggs. Gets it back to Jalen King. Gets it to Garcia. Troy Ramos has it. He spins away. No look pass to Garcia for three. No good. 17-44. Stars up by nine. Braden Edison gets it. Four on two break. Gets it to Ramos for three. Can't get it to go. Briggs has it. He spins in. Fade away from Raheem. The Dream. Briggs. Bup, bup, bup. Briggs. Bup, 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 bup. Briggs. Oh, man. Somebody call First Financial. The bank is open. Ooh, and a huge collision. And going to the line to shoot two will be Braden, the light bulb Edison. Dominic Weems comes into the game here. The assistant coach for the Stars. He brought a mop out, but didn't mop. ASU Mid-South to take a timeout. They are down by nine and in trouble. Let's see if the Stars can pull away.
To the line shooting two will be Braden, the light bulb, Edison. Bucket's not good. Stars could make it a double digit lead after this one. Good. 10 point lead for the Stars. The full court pressure has really given ASU Mid-South some issues. Oh, and Jalen King almost gets a steal. And Mid-South will take it out. And it's the second time tonight the Stars have fouled a three-point shooter. And Cam Robinson, not too thrilled about that one. He's normally a pretty cool, calm, and collected coach. He's actually contesting this, wondering if there was a flop there. Let me know what you guys think. Was that a flop? Either way. First free throws up. It is good. That's number 21, Jesse Washington. One of the best shooters you'll see. Second free throw's good. So far this season, he has been a 66% free throw shooter. So, judging by the odds, he'll miss this one. Look at that! Ha, 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 ha! Shout out to my algebra teacher, Miss Pinkert. I know she'd be happy about that one. Three's up. No good from Briggs. Jalen King tried to get the rebound. ASU had numbers. They choose not to take them. And number 21, Jesse Washington. Cuts the lead to six after the and one. Jesse Washington could really play all. Once again, one of the best scorers in the NJCAA. He can't get it to go. And the bucket's good from Jalen King. You don't see the good old back down, throw it off the glass in two. Bucket's good. That's number 15, Devonta Tucker. Jalen has it. Ramos tried to get it to the light bulb. Braden Edison. What a post move from Braden Edison. 15-34, stars up by eight. Keeping things at arm's length. He's, he's good. Jesse Washington is so freaking good. Shout out to ASU Mid-South. Y'all got, got yourself a Greyhound, man. Raheem Briggs for two. Fifteen minutes left to go. Washington has been unreal in this half. God bless America. I, I, I am speechless. <laughs> this is an incredible display of offensive basketball from Jesse Washington. Sometimes you just can't really do anything about it. Jalen King, great pass to Garcia and he gets hammered. Shout out to Garcia's mother watching in. She is the president of the Damian Garcia fan club. The mustache mafia. All the way from Houston, Texas.
First free throws up and it's good. Into the game. Jamari on Cato, the best player in the first half for either team was Cato. So far in this half, it's been Washington. Garcia, a chance to stretch the lead to seven. 14-28 left to go in this game. And it's nothing but nylon. Garcia gets taken out, Kashun Brown. Definitely the best perimeter defender on this team. Comes back into the game. And Doc gets fouled right here by Troy Ramos. And to the line shooting two is number three, Kyron Doc. 65 to 58 is your score. 14 21 left to go in this one. Kyron, nothing but nylon. So it looks like we got a few uh, Jesse Washington fans. Man, I, I don't care what team you play for. If you can hoop, you can hoop. Y'all tell me a little bit more about Jesse, man. Where's he from? What are his hobbies? What does he like to do? Is he cool? Stars have it. They're up by six. Ooh, nasty give and go. Cato gets it to Kashun Brown. Makes a good extra pass to Ramos. Ten on the shot clock. Oh, and a reach in foul here. Jesse Washington. Right when I was showing him some love, there was no need to reach in with the shot clock winding down. Stars get a bailout foul. They will get a fresh 20 as well. 65-59, 13-52 left to go. Can the Stars hold off the Greyhounds? Briggs for three. No, he pumps fakes, takes it in. And it's good. Raheem Briggs, a little kiss off the glass. And it's a 67-59 game. Oh, huge collision. 24 on 24 action. Call that the first 48, and that was huge. Huge. There is a wet spot on the floor. No blood was drawn, though. And the head coach, Cam Robinson. The best dressed man in the arena. Now, you, you tell me this, Chet. Have you ever seen Steve Kerr mop the floor? Have you ever seen Phil Jackson mop the floor? No, you haven't. That's why Cam Robinson's a goat. I love it. 67 to 59, your score. Jamarion Westbrook, the second leading scorer. He's had a quiet half here. And it's good. 67 to 60 is your score. Braden Edison comes in, or comes out into the game. Philip Tillman for the first time in the second half. Okay, so Jesse Washington from Jonesboro. We got a few Jonesboro's out there. Philip Tillman with the ball in the hand right now. Also from Jonesboro, number two. Got a, I don't, I've, I've lived in Arkansas a good bit of my life. I still have never been to Jonesboro. I mean, what, what is there to do in Jonesboro? Do you, I mean, do you have an Arby's? What's going on? I've got to check it out because there, there's apparently Hoopers. Oh, and it'll go to ASU Mid-South. Good play there for number 12, Samuel Chapin. Turn 12.55 left to go. Chapin gets an open three, and he gets it to go. And it's a three-point game. Defensive breakdown from the Stars. Samuel. 
12-40. One, three, one zone. Somebody called Jim Beheim. And Jamarion Cato just powers through. And he will go to the line to shoot two. Oh, that, that's got to be a shooting foul. And we do get a timeout on the floor. Okay, no, it's, it should be a shooting foul. Jamarion Cato will shoot two. Jamarion Cato. Also known as the Cobra. Nails the first free throw. You like that? The Cobra. Kato. Second free throw is no good. ASU Mid South has it. Two possession game, but it's only a four point lead. High screen. Good steal from Philip Tillman. Troy Ramos has it. No good. Oh man, and it's thrown out of bounds. Ball don't lie. The Stars bench was begging, begging for that to be an out-of-bounds call. Stars get it anyway. 11.42 left to go, four-point lead. Kashun Brown running the offense. He's gonna take a three. It's no good. Seventeen on the shot clock. Doc out of control. Should be a shot clock violation. Yeah, good call by the zebra. It should be a shot clock violation. Ball never touched the rim. That is some really good officiating. Alex coming after me for the lack of atmosphere. Can't beat the, y'all call y'all's home court the doghouse? Oh man, that is, that is creative. I mean, I would have never thunk of that. I mean, goodness gracious. Huh, 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 huh. I mean, it, isn't the doghouse a bad thing? I'll tell you this, if this game goes to overtime, I'll be in the doghouse with my wife. <laughs> huh? 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 Good steal! Oh, and a late foul on Kashun Brown. I mean, you could have gone with the dog pound, play out the Cleveland Browns, but the dog house is what y'all go with? Really? I mean, goodness gracious. I guess I just need to check out this atmosphere myself. ASU Mid-South has it, down by four. I've been really impressed with Kyron Dock tonight. He only came into this game averaging eight a game. He is way past that tonight. Once again, it's it's Jesse Washington. Shot clock was winding down, and he just found a way to get in there. And what's very interesting is right now, for ASU Mid-South, Jesse Washington is the shortest player on the floor, it seems. And he still finds a way to get in. That's a good job from him. 10-10 left to go. First free throws up, it rattles in. What did I tell you in the first half? This game is going to be legendary. 
I don't care who you're a fan of. This content is being provided to you on the free, baby. So please hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up the video. Let's get to it. Second free throw's good. And we have a two-point game, y'all. Ramos has it. Ramos has it. 68 to 66 is the score. ASU Mid-South all the way from West Memphis. That is a four-hour drive from here. Garcia has it. Gets it to Cato. He takes it in, and it will be a blocking foul on Washington. I know he has at least three. Oh, that is a huge call. And once again, have you ever seen Lenny Wilkins? Have you ever seen Mike Krzyzewski? My former boss, Mike Krzyzewski. Yeah, that's a, that's a new fact for you. Yeah, I worked with uh, Coach K for a year. Cam Robinson mopping it up and uh, does a good job. Look at that. It is dry. That, that, that paint area is the Sahara. First free throws up, it's good. You now Alex wants, wants to get into it with me. That's okay. I see you, Alex. I get community service hours. Crazy. It's it's funny considering I just got a raise. So Alex, you gotta you gotta come a little harder if you're gonna come at me like that, man. Oh, good defense from Jalen King. Stars up by four. 9.22 left to go. Cole play with the ball. That's good defense from the Stars. But it did graze the rim. They get a fresh 20. 9.14 left to go. You can feel the tension. Martin can't get it to go. What a steal for Philip Tillman. Bang! Philip Tillman throw it down. 72 to 66 is your score. Good rebound from Jamari on Cato. Phil Tillman has it. He gets it to Cato. And he throws it away. Sloppy ball handling. Throw it down! Jalen King! Slammed it back to West Memphis. And it remains a six-point game with eight minutes left to go. Open three, no good. Cato has it. Philip Tillman has it now. Jalen King's up, can't get it to go. And ASU Mid-South throws it away. Oh, every possession counts. 7.25 left to go. Stars up six. Big shout out to Ankevia Matthews. Good to see you. Jalen King, you'd be proud of him. He is having a great game tonight. 
See if we can get Ramos going here. And it's stolen by Washington. He's been everywhere. Timeout ASU Mid-South. And a little kerfuffle there. I love it. And I love the tension in the chat. The Greyhounds and the Stars Nation. That's what I love, man. Maybe we could build this into a little rivalry. Lady Stars got the dub. And ASU Mid-South, a very successful men's basketball program. Yes, they're 10 and 10 and 1 and 3 on the season. But so far, over the past decade, 2013, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2022, they have won all those years regional championships. So ASU, ASU Mid South, this is a really, really prestigious. NJC AA Division II program. Got to love it, man. Arkansas is a really good basketball state. Not the Razorbacks, though, but every other school, yeah. They got some good hoopers. Washington has it. Throws it to Chris Martin. He is seeing yellow, and it will be the Stars' ball. 6.56 left to go. And here come the Stars. 6.51 left to go. Garcia has it. Good pass to Jalen King. And he draws a foul. Head coach Cody Hastings begging his team to get on the floor. To the line shooting to Jalen King. I just love the national recruiting on this year's Stars roster. I mean, you got kids from all around. Jalen King from the city of Atlanta. Second free throws up. And it's good. 74 to 66 is your score. Ball will remain with ASU Mid South. Six thirty nine left to go. Oh. That's one of those calls where you're just like, uh, really? A blunk? I mean, where else is, is Ramos supposed to go? I, I get it. That's how it's normally called. And we are already in the bonus here. The one and one. Number three, Kyron Dock. A good free throw shooter. Doesn't get that one to go. And a good rebound from ASU Mid-South. Can't get it to go. Still can't get it to go. And Garcia finally gets it. And he gets it to Philip Tillman. 6.28 left. Tillman takes the screen from Cato. It's Garcia. Good cross court pass to Tillman. He takes the three. No good. Rebound, Washington. Wow. 6.08 left to go. 74 to 66 is your score. And we get a foul. I don't know on who. Let's see. Oh, they're going to call it on Jalen King. And it'll be the one and one for number 12, Samuel Chapin. Chapin this season has struggled from three. But from the free throw line, he's been pretty good. Near 100% percent, and it's good. Chapin's got the, what is that? Is that, is that a cooling tape? Looks like his, his right shoulder is taped. Second free throw's good. And we got a six point game with six minutes left to go. A 
Ramos slithering around. Gets it to Philip Tillman. He drives all the way in. Floater's no good. Jalen King with the putback. Timeout, Cam Robinson. And with 5.39 left to go, the Stars are up eight. ASU Mid-South, a self-proclaimed dynasty, according to the fans in the chat. 10 and 10 on the season. A chance to go to one and four in conference play if they can't turn it around. Stars look to go above 500 in conference play, and we'll see if they can actually get that done. Don't forget, Stars will be back in action Thursday night, a doubleheader here. And guess what? I got a seat right here in the broadcast booth. You can sit right next to me. Just come, hang out, make the trip of 5.30, 7.30, Hector from here. I guess I need to get to West Memphis for a game. Check out the doghouse. Is it is it lit? Is it like Cameron Indoor? Is it like Rupp Arena? There's n there, there's nothing. I, I got to go to the Arkansas Duke game earlier this year. It was something else, man. Five thirty six left to go. Stars up eight. Press is broken. They had a chance for an open layup. They couldn't get it. Doc has it. Pivot foot hangs on by a thread. And it's thrown through the backcourt. It'll given, be given to the Stars. Tillman will take it out. And it'll be Ramos with it. Okay. Five minutes left to go. Tillman to Garcia for three. No good. High intensity rebound, and it'll be a jump ball. Given to the Greyhounds. We'd like to thank our broadcast partners, Harrison Financial Management, Tidwell Consulting, and Murphy USA. Eleven on the shot clock. Garcia with the rebound. Oh, that is so silky smooth. The Mustache Mafia stretches the lead to 10. Washington has it. Doc has it. ASU Mid-South looking for some offense. And it's thrown away. You can see where ASU Mid-South has struggled. They have two elite scorers, both of which average over 17 points per game, but no other players into double figures, whereas the Stars have five players on their roster that average at least 10 a game, and one of them is just having an off night. Depth is so important at this level. 3.58 left to go. It's a 10-point game. Can the Stars pull off a 2-0 night? And it's a kick ball. Stars will get a fresh 20. Cato for three. Is that the dagger? 13 point lead for the Stars. Oh! 
Jamarion Cato looked like a clean block. It could have gone either way. And number 24, Jamarion Westbrook will go to the line to shoot two. No good. And the Greyhounds have fallen apart. This game was tight. 68 to 64. Second free throw is good. One for two. 3.30 left to go. ASU down by 12. Cato gets it to Garcia. Back to Ramos. Gets a high screen here from Jalen. He gets fouled here. Oh, and it looked like two knees banged. I hope number three, Kyron Dock, is okay. Stars looking pretty good. If you'd have told Cam Robinson that Troy Ramos is going to have an off night, and you'd be up by 12 with now 13. With three minutes left to go, he said, I'd take that every time. We say hi to Dumrich KP. Second free throw is no good. The stars are sizzling. Why? I don't know how Washington got that in, but he did. Philip Tillman has it. To Cato, 11 point lead. Cato takes a tough jumper. And what a play by Jalen King, and he throws it off the face of number 15, Devonta Tucker. Oh, man. Very unfortunate. Jamarion Cato was just trying to knock it off of number 15, Devonta Tucker. Very unfortunate. I hope he's okay. New sub into the game is Darren Wallace, number 20. Darren hit a few buckets in the first half. Stars up by 11. Ball's knocked out here on number 24, Jamarion Westbrook. Baseball pass into the backcourt is a good one. Looking like Patrick Mahomes out there. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Ramos gets it to Cato. It's no good. 11 point game, Cody Hastings has a chance to make a push here. And Braden Edison coming in fresh off the bench. The light bulb. King with the block. Philip Tillman splits the double here. He gets it to Ramos for three, and it's good! You can only keep the Pine Bluff trifecta down for so long. Ramos, nothing but nylon, baby. Stolen here. Off the back of ASU Mid-South. The Stars up by 14 with 1.56 left to go. Stars will roll more than likely with the double-digit victory. I'm a little shocked ASU Mid-South not providing some full-court pressure, but I think they feel the inevitable. The Stars cooking. Year two under Cam Robinson. High pick coming from Jalen King. Phil Tillman has it. It's stolen. And that should be a kick ball. 
And it was a good kickball to stop the transition there. Let me see the star emojis in the chat. Washington can't get it to go. Jalen King gets it to Ramos. There's no one that you want with the ball in his hands more than Troy Ramos in this spot. Probably the best shooter on this team. Oh, what a wraparound pass! Troy Ramos, you can't be serious! It's good. 87 to 74 is your score. Greyhounds. An ironic name for a four hour bus ride back home. But they fought valiantly. Tillman's got to let one up. And Cam Robinson. Sh shots blocked. And this is all for pleasantries. It's out of bounds, and the Stars will roll with a dominant 87 74 victory here. And your Stars will move to 3 and 2 in conference play. What a game. And your South Dark Stars roll to a 2 0 night. ASU Mid South. 74, South Dark Stars, 87. Don't forget Thursday night, we'll be back in action. A 5.30, 7.30 doubleheader. Shout out to ASU, safe travels home. Cody Hastings, year one. This is a really good ASU Mid-South team. Player of the game, I normally give it to a South Dark Star, but I was really impressed tonight with number 21, Jesse Washington. So I'm going to give it to him. But I'll take the dub any day. For Justin Guerin, executive producer. Benji Brown, executive producer. On-site producer. Zion. Ganter. My name is Carter the Power Brian. I want to connect with you on social media at Carter the Power. That's Twitter and Instagram. I don't care if you're a Greyhound fan. I don't care if you're an Arkansas fan. I don't care if you're a South Ark fan. Let's connect on social media, baby. I guess I got to go... Uh, Go home. I think we're having burgers tonight. We'll see what Chef Hay is putting up tonight for your boy. Um, you know, some final thoughts here. Feels good to have our first 2-0 and night at home. And that is all thanks to the South Dark Stars for putting in the work. I mean, it's been a tough season for both teams, more so the women's and the men's, but they were able to get it done, man. Let's see. Oh, the dog pound just, just left. I wonder why. Ha, 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 ha. Stars Nation, baby. We'll talk to you on Thursday night. We need you here. We would prefer you to be here. What is this? People jumping over each other here. Ha, ha, ha. We'll see you. Your final score, once again, 87 to 74. Girls win as well. It's South Dark Stars basketball on YouTube, baby. Less.